Yo my people, what is good, what is popping? Welcome back to the M1 show. And first of all guys, apologies for not posting. My laptop broke. Yeah, I know guys, it was hard. So I couldn't post content for a month. But I've got a new laptop. I've got my camera, you guys already know. So we are gonna get into some high quality videos, back with amazing content as usual. And back with the consistency too, because you know, before I left, I was consistent. Now I'm back, I need to be consistent as well as you get. And so guys, today I've got for you a quick rundown of the upcoming hyped releases we've got on the way because there is a lot of heat coming. I mean, I know the summer's brought the heat. Look at me. I'm sweating. Pop Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! <laughs> no, but I am sweating. But the releases that are coming, fam, heat on the feet. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll get a pair and I can show you them in the streets. I don't know, man. We'll see what I've done. But yeah, guys, um, I'm back. So, as usual, make sure you like, comment, hit the post notification bell so you get reminders. And guys, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. And so without saying too much more, guys, let's get into today's video. So, people, we've been hearing a lot of rumours. Somebody say rumours. Rumours! <laughs> No, but we've been hearing a lot of rumours guys, a lot of releases, stock numbers. So let me clear some stuff up for you because there's a lot of cap going out here. First of all, the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 is releasing allegedly on the 29th. Now that date is semi-confirmed but it's not fully confirmed so until you see on the sneakers app, don't pay too much attention to the date just yet. However, I've also heard that then the lows, the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 lows are going to come out in August in that um, blue sale colorway as well but the color book is slightly different and personally I really like the color blocking of the lows but let's focus on the highs because that's the closer date so with the highs somebody pulled out a number out of the sky apparently and said that worldwide the stock for the highs is going to be 50,000 pairs I don't think that's true it just smells like a bit of cap to me to be honest I don't know like I think, I think, I think, it's just a bit of cap if I'm being real with you man, honestly like, 50,000 pairs of Travis Scott's worldwide, how many pairs of the other ones did we get, what was it like, of the first Travis Scott's, the OG's, the OG ones, I believe we got maybe like, maybe eight to 100,000 maybe, something around that, because there were a lot of pairs of them. So I don't think they would restrict it as much to 50. I mean, unless Nike are just trying to take the piss and tell us they will hate us, then fair enough. I guess so, but I don't know, 50 seems a bit low to me personally. Um, so expect a slightly higher number than that. I don't know how much higher though, because obviously this is a second release and it's with fragments. So maybe they want to retain the exclusivity. But obviously don't take it from me in it, but I feel like it'd be a bit higher. With that being said though, and I'm here thinking out loud, you have to remember that this is a Jordan 1 Travis Scott and Fragment collaboration on the shoe. So, that number being so restricted might actually not be as far-fetched as I first thought. But who knows, we'll wait and see. So we've got them coming out on the 29th of July, allegedly. Am I gonna try and get a pair? Most definitely. Am I gonna get a pair? We're gonna have to wait and find out. And from one amazing release to another, except in my opinion, this is a pretty cool release. We have got the SB Dunk Low Para in abstract in the abstract art colorway. Now the reason why I'm looking down is because it's loaded up on my sneakers app. It is £99.95 and I have clicked notify me, so obviously notify me because I want to know when this shoe drops. I think this shoe is a cold shoe. Um, it's got that gum sole, the white laces. I feel like it might come with a, a few variations of laces. We'll have, we're going to have to wait and see. But personally, I really think it's called you. Um, it's coming out on the 29th of July as well at 8am. And then from there, we've got the Blazer Low Sakai's. So we've got three colorways, is it? Or two? We've got two colorways. We've got the Iron Grey Blazer Low Sakai in this grey colorway with the white sole. And then we've got the British Tan colorway. There's a lot of British browns. Is Britain really about brown like that? I don't know, man, because you've got British khaki. On the on the Jordan sixes. Now this is British tan. 
or British tan, sorry, I might as well pronounce my tea, shouldn't I? Yeah, British tan, British khaki, yeah. Um, I, I don't know, does, does Britain really associate with brown like that? I always thought, maybe because London's grey, I just think of London grey, but I don't know where that comes from. I guess I have to find that from somewhere. But yeah, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments, because I, I don't know. And then, oh, those are releasing on the 31st of July. And then we've got the Dunk High 1985 times undercover gym red which is part of the olympic collection so guys if you guys have been paying attention nike has teamed up with undercover off-white and what is this third brand it eludes me ambush yep ambush to bring the olympic series which is basically a release of um apparel and trainers um to celebrate the olympics so they chose three brands and those are the three brands they chose off-white ambush and um undercover so yeah these are the undercover Jim Red 1985 Dunks. Um, they're going to be £134.85. Uh, am I going to get them? I think I'm going to give them a pass personally. They drop on the 28th of July. I like the colorways. I like how they put stuff together. It seems like they only come with one pair of laces because I was watching the sneakers live yesterday and it only came with one pair. Um, would I get them? No, I think I'm going to leave them alone personally. It's just. I'm, I'm going for crepes that I really want now. I don't want to go for everything because there's no point. Like I'm actually going for crepes that I genuinely want. So if you see me with a pair of crepes, I wanted them. Think about it that way. So yeah. So I know you guys have been talking about Nike a lot and you guys are probably wondering, I am one. Isn't there anything else coming up? Yes, there is. We have got Yeezy Day coming up. And boy, we have got, yep, the Wave Runner restock. I spoke about it before. I'm back to talk about it again because the Wave Runner restock is closer than you think. It is coming on Easy Day, which is I believe August 21st, so the back end of August. So, guys, if your peas come in at the start of the month, make sure you remember about Easy Day at the end of the month because if your peas aren't there, I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Me personally, I'm gonna try and get a pair of the Wave Runners. I've really liked that shoe from the jump. I just need that shoe in my collection, man. It's one of those shoes that you just need. And that's one of them for me. So I'm going to try and get a pair of those. Um, there's also a couple 350s restocking on that day. I'm going to put the picture of the restock season um, on the page somewhere so you guys can see. And um, yeah, that's another pair of crypts that I really want. So um, yeah, if I can get those Wave Runners, I'll be over the moon. That will make my summer, I think, yeah. However, <sighs> got to go back to Jordan because Nike and Jordan are really coming with the releases that me personally I want and they're releasing the Lightning 4s now if you guys know there's the Thunder 4s and the Lightning 4s yeah now the Lightning 4s are yellow tech grey and white with a little bit of black I believe I have seen those crepes and I've made a decision in my mind that I want those crepes and so by God's grace I'm gonna get those crepes with the special box which is um a black and yellow box which is slightly um, similar to the University Blue Jordan 4s, except it's going to be yellow instead of um, blue. So if you guys haven't seen that video already, hit the link over in this corner, I think, to watch the video. After this video though, because you don't want to miss out on the information here. But yeah, um, that is coming out in August. I believe it's the middle of August, I think August the 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll confirm that date for you guys and let you know, but yeah. Um, and from one yellow crepe to another, there's a Jordan 1 Pollens, which again, are coming with a slightly different box. So you see how typically you get a night box and it has this red with the black. This time it's gonna be black and yellow. So Nike and the tip is gonna be in yellow, which I think is really cool. It adds to the kind of collector's feel of it. And I really feel like the brand of the box is now going to incline people to buy the shoe just as much as the shoe. So yeah. Um, and even if you don't want to buy the shoe and you don't necessarily like it, the box might make it a collector's item for you. Because Nike don't really do this Jordan 1 switching up box things unless they're special, for example, Travis Scott's or something like that. Or other little clubs that they put along the way. It's not every day you get a different Nike box with a different tick. So, yeah. I would say if you can, pick one of them up. I think personally, the shoe itself isn't the coldest. Maybe if they do a little lace swap. Because personally, yeah. Uh, I've never been a big fan of black toe boxes. I'm, I've always been a big fan of white toe boxes and Jordan ones. Black toe boxes kind of just subdue the shoe and make the shoe like, mm. like me personally, a white toe box, a colored toe box, whether that be red, blue, yellow, any of those colors, orange, cold. But when you make the, the toe box black, it's just like, oh, okay. 
Like, where do you go from here? So, um, yeah. Um, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of the shoe, but I mean, if it comes across my table and it's an easy cop for me, I might be interested. I might just get a few guys just so I can show you an unboxing for you guys and see what I'm going in it. But, um, yeah. And, obviously, I'm talking about Nike a lot. I'm talking about Jordan. We've got Sneakers Day coming up on August the 8th, I think. I think it's the 8th, yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening in August, man. But, yeah, um... I'm gonna try and see if I can get a cheeky restock of something because I know the sneakers app was doing bare random restocks over the past maybe month or so or it was a specific week in July I think the second week where they just decided to restock everything and then they had Nike day last week so um, there was some restocks there of Jordan 1 Vault Golds and the Jordan 1 Smoke Grey Highs so um, yeah seems like Nike have had stocks that they're sitting on from the pandemic so they're trying to get rid of it which makes sense I guess because there's been a lot of stock that they haven't been able to shift because of the pandemic so yeah and how can I forget the off-white 50 dunks now I actually think here yeah, that is one of the smartest releases that they're going to drop this year in terms of Nike and Virgil because it's like the start of the colorway is white the end is black and the middle 48 pairs is the grey area that's kind of like that Area 51 to have a vibe like you don't really know what's going on in between but there's a lot going on in between in the grey area so in that grey area you have several different um, elastic bands is it bands? yeah they're bands on the shoe and um, they're different colours and then you get the two um, you get the two different materials you get the suede texture and you get the leather grey and I, I think it's a cool concept you know like that whole kind of idea of the grey area is kind of interesting to me and apparently no I don't know if it's confirmed but apparently if you buy a shoe and you manage to win those dunks you don't know what dunk is coming to your doorstep um, number 1 and number 50 are friends and family but 2 to 49 are general release and what will happen is you pick a shoe or you don't pick a shoe you win a shoe and when it comes to your house that's when you'll know what shoe you've won if that's the case amazing concept because you don't even know what's turned up on your doorstep you could get it and you could hate it you could get it and you could love it I don't know but um, yeah man that, I think the release is a crazy release I think it's going to be really cool I'm looking forward to it and I'm definitely going to be involved and yeah guys even even New Balance has been dropping some heat recently the Salih Bembry is a very cold shoe great concept and shout out to Salih Bembry himself because that rollout was amazing the, the images that they produced the water be your guide theme that they had Hey, I think that was so cold man honestly and obviously it adds into the pack that was really released of them so I think they're cold um, what else did they release? the protection pack again amazing like yeah New Balance have really been on smoke the last couple months and it's been it's been felt people are noticing and people are taking the brand in me personally as well I've been trying to track down a pair of um, protection pack what is it like dark grey black yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to track them down so if I track them down and I get them then pff, bro those might be my everyday shoes because my boy is telling me they're so comfortable so yeah man um before this video ends um I want to do, give a quick shout out to Arif my boy's brand um Arif Arif Adus is the full name obviously the hat says for whatever makes you happy and yeah man do whatever makes you happy man YouTube makes me happy so I do YouTube you know do whatever makes you happy and shout out to August Crown as well obviously I am one of the ambassadors um I'll write my code somewhere on the page and in the description as well so that when they do have a restock you guys can definitely go and grab your merch for a cheeky discount so yeah man um that is today's footwear forecast um i've been your host the m1 show and if you guys have any other questions about upcoming releases then definitely shout me come on man like if you guys have messaged me before you know that i reply to my messages so i'm nobody too special out here just yet and even when i am i'm still going to reply because yeah man i'm a helpful guy you get so if you guys need any help have any questions you want to ask let me know if you need some silent advice on shoes shout me um i'll give you my own personal experience and then yeah man and with that being said guys it's been real thank you for looking into the m1 show and we're back to the usual consistent content so make sure you like comment and subscribe of course hit the post notification bell and guys it's been real, you know the vibes.